Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of Dwarven Realms. In only a couple of days time at time of recording season 21 Bloodstorm is coming. Now as you know I play a lot of games. I've been playing last epoch for literally 15 straight days since 1.0 and yes the subathon is still going. As you can see above my head, the clock is still ticking. But in a couple of days, I'm going to be switching to Dwarven Realm Season 21. And I've been talking to the developers of this game, and it looks like this is going to be a pretty special season. We will say it is highly ambitious. Now, what we're going to do on this video is we're going to go through some of the notes and what's going to be changing for Season 21, and I'm going to play the new trailer for you. And if you don't know what this game is, this is a third person isometric action RPG built on Unreal Engine 5, and it is a mix of, you know, the kind of classical Diablo game, but it has the mob density of vampire survivors. Very interesting game. It literally only cost five dollars on Steam and they are a good team. So I, I love playing the game. I love covering it. And I think this could be the next kind of dark and darker the next Vampire Survivors, the game that comes out of nowhere. So you'll see it Friday on stream, and we're going to talk about it right now. Dwarven Realm Season 21 Bloodstorm. Dwarven Realms has undergone a significant evolution in recent seasons, culminating in the release of Bloodstorm. Bloodstorm brings together these changes, offering players a remarkably different experience. With revamped movement mechanics, combat has been enhanced to deliver a more engaging and immersive gameplay. Additionally, the introduction of new Lighting, sound like Last Epoch a little bit. Atmospheric effects and darker zones brings the game closer to our vision of an ARPG. Across previous seasons, we introduced numerous boss, new bosses, end game dungeons, new unique challenges, and epic loot. Furthermore, the character creation system has been overhauled to provide a fresh starting point for players. Now, I will say, okay, the developers of this game, they really sold me on it. How did they sell me on it? They put in Action RPG Village. I, I have a little town, a little town in this game. I'll show it to everybody on Friday. Introducing True Hardcore Mode. Now, what this game has done historically, the previous 20 seasons, is everyone, it doesn't matter, everyone starts hardcore, and when you die, your name switches from red to the gray color so you can see on the leaderboards who hasn't died well now there is a true hardcore mode where when you die your character's dead revamp the ladder system we're introducing a new ladder system dividing gameplay to seasonal and hardcore seasonal modes plus a huge shout out to glimmer for creating our new leaderboard site well that's pretty cool we'll have to look at this immersive combat ex experience get ready for more visceral Experience as mobs now splash blood during combat. We aim to enhance the thrill of slaying mobs in each encounter more impactfully. Ooh, I'm hoping this does not hurt performance. That makes me a little nervous. There's a million mobs on the screen. Blood splashing. Okay, we'll have to check that out. Enhanced audio. We've completely overhauled the audio system to ensure that all the abilities are accompanied by immersive sound effects. OK, that sounds good. Improved movement and camera experience, smoother gameplay with revamp movement mechanics, camera shakes and camera follow. These changes are still being fine tuned, but contribute to an overall better gameplay feel. Now for the camera as a spellcaster, every once in a while it would drive me crazy because the angle I needed to get, it's almost like you're looking up at the enemy. So when I see that, it kind of makes me happy. I'm hoping they improve some of that. Redesigned UI and character creation. Say goodbye to the old and hello to the new. We've redesigned the entire character creation process and UI to provide a more seamless and enjoyable experience. Okay. Epic home fort stations. We've revamped home fort stations, ditching old low poly assets to make your home fort fort feel more epic. Tweaked elite slaying rewards. Enjoy more epic loot moments as we've adjusted the amount of containers spawned. OK, and this is new for last season, so it looks like they're further enhancing it. Uh, of course, level 100 map rewards doubled. OK, reduce energy cost for Q&R abilities. That's good. Crafting flexibility. 
All fellowship modifiers in hardcore SSF can now be crafted, crafted on relics. Oh, this is good. So now you don't have to join a fellowship. That's good. New time essence system. Elites now grant much more essence, enhancing the strategic aspect of gameplay. I always try to kill elites anyways. New formula for time essence gates. It now costs more to open rupture six and forward. Revoked container system. We've introduced a percentage chance to get containers even if you kill two elites in a row, adding more variety to the loot drops. I like that. UI enhancements. Discover the new UI additions and changes included in the cute. The cute inventory open indicator. Okay, balance adjustments. Rupture 50 now costs much more to open, ensuring a more challenging progression. Oh, that should be interesting for a couple of people I know. New container types. Explore new container types for even more varied loot drops. Bug fixes, crafting changes, and then just a couple of bugs. Oh, charge roll adjustment. Charge roll is now constant, but can't be repeated until you land, adding more strategic depth to combat. So this is a huge season for Dwarven Realms, season 21. There was nothing in here other than Splash Blood that makes me nervous. This game, there's so much on the screen. Third person vampire survivors. So performance wise, I'm hoping it feels really, really good. And we're going to test out all of this on Friday. This game is ultra competitive. So if you think of PoE, you think of Last Epoch Cycles, you think of Diablo 4 Seasons, whatever game you look, Torchlight, this game does a brand new ladder cycle season every four weeks. So it is fast. You're probably wondering how the hell are they on season 21? Because it's every month. Every month they drop a new season with new mechanics and a new leaderboard. So it is ultra engaging. And I got to say, sometimes it's hard to keep up on. But we are streaming so much and there's so much time left on the clock that we're going to be checking this out for at least the weekend, including Friday for season 21. I'm done. Please consider subscribing if you think I've earned it. Check out the Patreon. It's the best way to support. First link in the description. And I'm going to leave you with Bloodstorm, the new trailer. Enjoy. I'm in a sweet spot. I'm feeling good, the sun is shining, I knew it would, the world's a playground, I'm in the clouds, let me show you what it's all about, check it out.